Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. One way to manage locally advanced prostate cancer is with radiation therapy combined with hormone therapy. It appears from good clinical studies that the hormone therapy will improve the survival rate of men rather who, compared to men who get radiation alone. So if you're diagnosed with locally advanced disease and your doctor is only suggesting radiation by itself, you need to get more information because radiation by itself has not given as good results as we can obtain by combining it with radiation with hormone therapy. So now the question is, how long should you get the hormone therapy and how much radiation should you receive? The amount of radiation that's being administered is changing. Uh, we now know that there are ways to deliver radiation with fewer complications using what's called IMRT. And most places around the United States have that technology available. But you should ask your doctor if that's what you're going to get. The dose of radiation keeps changing. Uh, radiation is measured in the units called RADs, and we used to give 66 to 6800. Now we're up to 7,200, 7,600, even up to 8,100. So that is a changing idea about managing the disease. Another controversy has to do with the use of hormone therapy. There's a good prospective randomized trial that showed using hormone therapy for three years, along with the radiation, will give a significantly better survival than the radiation by itself. Other hormone studies have used it for four, four months or 28 months, and there's an ongoing debate what is the best result. It really doesn't look like four months worked well enough in the overall population of men, but it is often recommended. That would be two months before and two months during. Other people have said you should use it for two months before, two months during, and for an additional two years. So, in my opinion, the best results we have to date used it for 36 months. Now, there are side effects from the use of hormone therapy, namely hot flashes, a decrease in sex drive, patients may gain some weight. So, some men may not be able to tolerate the duration of hormone therapy that's recommended. But if possible, I think that the 36 months makes the most sense. 28 months may be adequate and more studies are probably underway to determine whether we can shorten the duration of hormone therapy and still get a significant improvement in survival. Uh, so that's the advantages. If the treatment is done and the cancer recurs, most of the time it recurs outside of the prostate. So having surgery later on if the cancer recurs can be done but there'll be very few cases in which it'll make sense to do. Radiation with hormone therapy is certainly a good option for men who aren't good candidates for, for surgery or for men that are a little bit older and aren't optimal with selection. You want to have at least a 10-year life expectancy to consider surgery. So we tend to offer radiation treatment to men who are a little bit older, maybe a little bit less healthy. But it is a reasonable option, and at the present time, there is no evidence to say that hormone therapy with radiation is better, worse, or the same as surgery for the management of men that have locally advanced prostate cancer. Keep in mind, it is a reasonable option. It is not the only option. And when you're trying to make a decision, you try and weigh the pros and cons in order to come up with what may be in your best interest, knowing that there's no studies available. Even though some doctors recommend one over another, there's no proof that that is better or worse. So hopefully this will help you along the decision process for managing your locally advanced prostate cancer. Thank you.